Hey guys, what's up? This is Taz Olson here. I'm, today I'm going to be making a guide for Adobe After Effects. And uh, we'll start off with a nice simple uh, guide. We are going to be making a solid gold text, which as you can see here, looks actually quite good. I stumbled upon this making a uh, guide for a friend of a friend. So, uh, not a guide, a video intro. So I figured I would use it. Uh, I figured I should make a tutorial on this because I think it looks very good. So we'll start off making a new composition, the duration and uh, width and height and all that stuff. It doesn't really matter too much. It's completely up to you as long as you roughly follow my examples. Uh, we'll start off, um, I'll just choose a nice basic font size uh, 36. I'll click here with the text tool uh, which is right here. Um, once it is selected, uh, let's just start typing. I'm going to uh, just randomly type Taz Olson. Uh, move that more to the center. And I'm also going to keep the uh, alpha on. I'm going to, uh, what's it called? Toggle transparency grid. You want to make sure this is selected because uh, it makes things a lot nicer to see for the time being. So uh, we're going to select this now. And, uh, actually, let's make two copies. So, Control D twice while having that layer selected. And, um, on the top one, we will select a nice gold ish color. So, let's get into the orange ish colors. Go up to about that color. Uh, it's a very nice looking color for uh, such an example. Let's shut off the other layers for now. So we have this. And uh, for the first layer, this is a very good color. Let's turn on the second layer. Select it. Um, we want to swap these. Now that looks quite different right now. Um, so we will select this. We'll click on it. Uh, let's get into a darker type of color. Let's go for that. That's very nice. Uh, we want to change one thing. Um, for the bars, let's go down to one. You won't notice much, but uh, it actually makes quite a big difference. It looks very much better. Uh, it looks a lot better when uh, in the finished result. Now let's uh, click on this, swap these again. This time we want uh, the stroke width to uh, stay at four pixels. Uh, that that works in this case. Uh, if you're using a larger font size, you might want to boost that up a bit. But for this font size, this works very nicely. And uh, now we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Go to an orangish color, uh, get a gold. But this time we're going to go a bit darker. Let's go with about this. See how this looks? That looks very nice. You want sort of this kind of look. Um, exact colors don't exactly matter. Uh, from my original. Uh, it doesn't look quite the same. So, now we are going to uh, select each layer, first layer, le uh, layer, layer styles, and we are going to add a bevel and emboss. We are going to do the same for each of the layers. Layer, layer styles. Bevel and Boss. This adds a very nice effect to the entire thing. As you can see here, uh, actually the front color will brighten up quite a bit. A little more. Much very nice. Um, on the bottom one, we will add layer, layer styles, drop shadow, just a little drop shadow. And we will do this. Distance, we'll set that to zero, so it stays kind of there. Uh, now we'll t drag whichever composition you just worked in. Uh, drag it into a new composition so it's all one layer. We will now begin some more work. Uh, 
will work on effects. We'll click effect uh, with that layer selected. Click effect, color correction, curves. Uh, now let's add a little bit of contrast here. Very nice. Uh, you can mess around with the contrast, see what you prefer. Uh, yeah, that looks very nice in my opinion. Uh, I did happen to notice that the uh, size is a little small, but it doesn't really matter too much. Now I'm going to uh, control D this. And uh, on the bottom layer I have here, I'm going to hit effect. Um, blur and sharpen CC radial blur. Uh, type, we are going to set to straight. And let's bump up the amount for a bit. Quite a bit of amount. With the uh, selection tool, select it. Uh, let's drag this way up above. Up above the entire composition's viewing point. Let's also hit effect, uh, generate, fill. We will set the color to black. Makes a very nice uh, shadow. And uh, let's go back to radial blur. Let's bump down the amount a lot. So it's not a whole lot. And there we have it. A very, very nice gold uh, text. Uh, gold font. It is very effective. Very nice. And uh... You can mess around with the shadow a bit. Uh, well, that much I don't think I want to do backwards, but... Yeah, if you want it to go down farther, so be it. If you want it up a little bit. Uh, I think about there looks very nice. So uh, that will do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and uh, leave me suggestions for which uh, video tutorial I should do next on either Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects. I am fairly fluent in either program, and uh, if I can't figure out how to do a certain effect, I will do my absolute best to figure it out, so I can then make a video tutorial on it. And length does not matter. How long it takes, I don't really care. I upload extremely long videos all the time, so do not feel like that is an issue. Uh, so until next time, this is Taz Olson. See you next time.